Welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode of Keep It Effing Real Show. I am your host, Pete Putiku, and we are live in Medellin in my own uh, condo, by the way. So we're not at the studio today. So I wanted to be different today, bring you guys to where I live and actually do the show in the house. Okay. So I'm excited right now to share a, a beautiful topic. I call it beautiful because um Multiple streams of income is great when it's done right. So welcome again to Medellin, Colombia. Um, I'm excited to share this information with you guys. So today's topic is called understanding multiple streams of income. Again, understanding the multiple streams of income. Now that word multiple streams of income gets thrown a, a lot. It gets thrown that word is used by so many different people. It is used by so many entrepreneurs who has never made a lot of money in the industry that they are in. So my message today again is understanding what is multiple streams of income and when should you do it? Okay, now, if you make less than $100,000 liquid cash, and I mean liquid, I'm not talking about what you have in a savings account or what you're currently making. I'm talking about an extra, if you're making an extra $100,000 in income at the end of the year before the tax, before tax man takes his, you should not get into multiple streams of income. Okay? Now, two. Now, let me ask you this. Now, do you know anybody within your network right now that have made a lot of money um, putting their eggs in one basket? You guys all heard that word before. Don't put your eggs in one basket. That mindset only comes from poor people or broke people. Wealthy, they handle multiple streams of income a little differently, and I'm going to explain how they actually do that, okay? Now, first and foremost, before you can begin the multiple streams of income, you have to set up a great foundation. What I mean by foundation is you have to get your mind right. You have to be prepared to fail along the way. And two, you got to have the right company to invest in. Whether it's starting your own company or starting your own business, you have to be prepared to fail. Most people do not like to fail. But as you're starting multiple streams of income, that's what's going to happen. Okay? So you have to pick the right company to start out with. Now, the super rich... Do not invest. They don't start with the multiple streams of income right away. They start small. Okay, now let me give you a perfect example. All right. You heard of a guy called Puff Daddy or Sean Combs, right? <clears throat> Many of you guys know who he is. Now, in the beginning, Puff Daddy, they start with all of these businesses that he's currently doing right, right now, right? Puff Daddy started with Bad Boy Record Label. After the record label, he ended up starting Sean John. After Sean John, he started the underwear. And after that, he ended up starting the vodka. Then Rove TV, all these different companies. And then you got 50 cents. Y'all know who he is, right? If you don't know who he is, you, you have been pretty much living under a fucking rock, <laughs> okay? 50 cents started with his own music, started rapping. After that, started a group called the G Unit. After the G Unit, he started his own shoe company. All right. After that, he invested fifty grand into a, a vitamin water. Okay, and had ten percent stake in that, and ended up making over a hundred million dollars 
directly in it. Now he's he's got his own TV show. Okay. Now let's go to Elon Musk. We all know who he is. He actually Elon Musk has surpassed Jeff Bezos, which is in, which is intense. Okay. Elon Musk started with what? With Tesla Motor, and then SpaceX. And then now he's starting, now he's about to launch his own cell phone company. And let me give you a perfect example. Mark Zuckerberg, who owns Facebook, started with Facebook. And then he started, you know, started doing Facebook ads. And then he bought Instagram. And then he bought WhatsApp along with different companies. But guess what, though? They didn't start putting their eggs in one basket. That is a poor mindset. Get good at the first company that you start with. So let's say you invest five grand to start your own company or to start in a business. Wait six months or a year before you make your profit back. Once you make your capital, you now have the first company that's generating the income. Most poor people, what they do with their income is they start buying luxury things. They start going on vacation. Okay. What the hell are you doing on vacation when you haven't accomplished your goal? Okay? So once you make your money back, you take that profit or you take your principal profit, you start investing in company number two. Now, if that takes you six months or three months or a year to get your money back, again, you got to be disciplined. Once you get your money back, start investing in company number three or four or five. And that's how you that's how you create multiple streams of income. Do not put your eggs in one basket if you don't really understand what the hell you're doing. All right. Now, I have a young lady here who is Miss. Yes. All right. Now, so an example. Now, you don't want to have a multiple streams of income by yourself. You need a partner. You need somebody who's actually loyal to watch your back because you, you're you going to be doing multiple streams of income. You're going to be focusing on one business here, all right? You need a loyal person. And most out of the time, and I got my partner here, Jay, you need women, okay? Because it's hard to trust niggas. And I hate to use that, that word, but it's hard to trust brothers. I want to trust kings. Kings, they're not about the money. They're not about, uh, well, can I get a good lick? They're really about taking care of what they're doing now. We're focusing on the future. The reason why Elon Musk is ahead of everybody, he's always speaking future in existing. Okay. So now once I have my company in established, I need somebody to do the admin stuff that I don't like. Most guys, we hate paperwork. I hate paperwork. This is the reason why I do online business. I'm not a, I'm not a diehard guy like, you know, Jay, who's got, who's got restaurants and clubs and, and music studio. <clears throat> That's a lot of work for me. But to each his own, okay? So you need somebody who can watch your back and, and really help you organize your multiple streams of income, Okay? And you got to be somebody that you actually trust. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring one of my guy over here, Jay. Yeah, muchas gracias. All right. I'm going to bring one of my guy over here, Jay. If you guys know who he is, you're going to know a lot more about him. What's up, buddy? <laughs> All right. So this is, my, this is my dude right here. You can see he's cock diesel here. So, so Jay, what does multiple streams of income mean to you? Like, did you start it with three or four different companies or did you start with one you make you make your money back and then you start investing in different things well i've been i've had multiple streams of income since i was young um but where i am today like you said yep. to focus on one thing yes um, i started off with a trucking company uh, basically one truck and okay. i grew my trucking fleet to 22 tractors um, run from there from there i had the capital to be able to invest in different things like you said as of right now i have two restaurants, a nightclub, a music studio. I still have 20 trucks running. 
So to his point, it's, it's super important, especially us minorities. It's like we're scared to take risk. Exactly. Because what it is, is like you said, nobody trusts anybody. You know, Puerto Ricans and blacks were always trying to get each other. Exactly. And if we just exactly. collaborated and actually worked together, we would get a lot further than, exactly. we, than we do. Um, yep. You have to master that one thing. Get your capital. You know, once you're you're established and I'm, you know, I just moved to Medellin. I'm still back and forth. I'm, I'm planning to retire mm-hmm. completely and come out here full time because it just makes no sense to live in the States. It's so expensive. Exactly. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, you go out to a restaurant, you're spending 60, 100 dollars over here. You're spending 30 bucks. Exactly. So for the same value, same exact for value way, way and way <laughs> healthier food. And a lot of times it's even better. Better. <laughs> exactly. Value. So, so, yeah, you're right. So multiple incomes allow you to actually move around and travel all right once you have a laptop you could be you could do your company anywhere but i think it was a wake-up call during the epidemic people that had jobs were wiped out and people that had companies that they had to go to every single day whether it be restaurants they were wiped out the number one company that outbeat everybody was amazon and I happened to pull Amazon loads. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> guess what? Everybody was shopping online. And if you were trading Forex or trading crypto, those top, top of individuals made a shitload of money that entire year. I was one of them because I, I was already positioned myself. Now, if one company goes, you got few left. So you're not really worried about that. If you're just depending on one income and that goes, they say... Everybody who's living on one income, or if you have a full-time job, or your doctor, whatever case may be, you are a paycheck away from being homeless. Man, when I heard that when I was young, I was like, I do not want to put myself in that you know position because it happened to me. Now I'm 46 years young. I've been doing business for a long time. I've done the multiple streams of income when I was young, and I never made a dime. <laughs> okay, because you can't take a thousand dollars and expect them to make a hundred grand. Maybe in the crypto world, if you invest in the right coin in the beginning, but that's very difficult. You gotta be lucky. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta be. You gotta be lucky. So my advice to you guys is get good at one thing, but that foundation is building your mindset to be able to handle risk, to handle failures. Only the strongest people that went through the epidemic survived. The weak didn't last. And they're still not lasting and they can't and they can't come out of it. So guess what? They had to rely on the government. I don't want the government to bail me out. I have to bail myself out, meaning you have to be positioned right away, build a strong foundation, understand the companies that you're going to invest in, understand the companies that you're about to do, get partners because you can't do this shit alone. Okay? no man has ever been rich by himself. Right. Because it takes people and people are the currency so when i mean foundation is you are the currency invest in yourself first before you invest in multiple streams of income start buying books start watching youtube channels right now me doing this this is my seven streams of income i currently have seven streams of income so if one fails i'm okay i still have six if the sixth one fail i'm okay i still have the fifth if the fifth one fail, I'm okay. I still have the fourth. It's unlikely if they all fail. It's impossible. That's never going to happen. Because if the sixth one fail, guess what? I'm going to replace that with the seven. That's what they do in sports, right? If they lose a person or he gets uh, he gets injured, what substitute, do they do? Substitute. Sub- substitute, Right? If an airline ticket, if an airline company is booked, somebody cancel, guess what they're going to do? They're going to say another seat is available. So you have to operate like wealthy people. Wealthy people don't start with multiple streams of income. And all these companies that they all started like Facebook, Elon Musk, guess what, guys? They all failed. Elon Musk was close to being bankrupt, right? He said he slept in his office. Most of you guys... When you lose five grand, 10 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand, you're bitching like a little bitch, right? You're crying. That's what I say. You have to be man enough or woman enough to take the fall. That's why I love boxers. When a boxer gets hit, he gets right back up. He shakes it off. He gets right back in the fucking ring, right? 
because you're going to get knocked down. You're going to lose money. Be okay with losing money. When I first made my first mail, I lost 250K before I made my first mail. Have you lost money? Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Have you lost? So if you're worried about two, two fucking grand, this ain't for you. Keep your day job. It's okay. This, again, there's nothing wrong with keeping a day job. But if you're talking about you want to build multiple streams of income, condition your mind to do that. So I'm going to ask Jay if he has any last, last words. Again, so the, so the point that you Hold on a second, made. Bo, Jay. Now, I'm going to do a show just on Jay only because he told me his story, guys. Again, my YouTube channel is starting to pop. So he told me his story, and I literally had goosebumps because not everybody can overcome what, he, what he's you know, done getting locked up and coming out of that and being successful in a country. Now, he's got one up against me because he speaks Spanish. I don't. I mean, I speak, I, like, I speak enough. Poquito. Yeah, a poquito. <laughs> so, so give us a words of wisdom on how to start multiple streams of income and, and how much money you think they really need. So the most important thing is sacrifice. I always talk to people okay. about the fact great. that you have to sacrifice to get great, ahead. Great, great, great. Um, a lot of people, they get 100 grand, 150 grand, and they want to go get a nice car. They want to buy a big chain. And 100, 150 grand is shit. Exactly. You can barely run, open up a good business with that money, you know? So Exactly. It's, I, didn't, I didn't take vacations, like you said before. I, I went almost 10 years without taking one vacation. I took 15. <laughs> this year I took four. Okay, so okay, I'm okay. Up, so I'm be uh, I don't even have a high school diploma. I dropped out of high school my senior year. Wow. I still remember last November 13th, 2020, I became mm -hmm. a millionaire. So well, to me, brother. thank you, thank you. I well, made my first million. And now for me, and this people like us, we succeed because we're all about helping other people. My, now my, my goal has shifted to how can I create millionaires? There and a lot of people don't think like that. Mm -hmm. So to me, the most important thing, when I first got my CDL license, I literally had $600 to my name. This wow. was back in 2014, 15. Mm -hmm. um, and I literally, I remember in 2018, I worked five consecutive months. Wow. Literally, I worked Monday through Sunday. So every day. Every day for five wow. months. I didn't have one alcoholic beverage. I wasn't worried about no chicks. All I did was focus. Wow. My wow. goal was simple. I wanted to become a millionaire. Mm -hmm. So when you have goals and you're focused, you have to be razor sharp with it there because, you, you know, people like us, we don't have there people that help us out. Um, yeah. You know, I was real fortunate. I started working on my credit. That's another tip that I tell people. Your credit, mm -hmm. most people don't have money, but everybody has credit. If you learn how to utilize your credit, it's basically like you have money. And it just takes a lot of time. But yeah. for me, my, my main thing is sacrifice. And a lot mm. of people, to, in order to create that multiple streams of income, yes. you have to realize that you got to sacrifice because $100,000 and $150,000 isn't a lot of money. A lot of money. You, know, you, could, you can get far, you could turn that into a million dollars, but it's accurate. very important to stay focused and save the money so that way you have other money mm -hmm. to be able to put up and actually take risks with because everything you do in life is a risk. You, you know, go. and if you're skip, you see white people say this all the time. Yeah. Rich people are risk takers, yes. you know, and I'm a risk taker. I'll, I'll run right into a wall, bang my head, get up and, and keep going. Yep. You know, it's like the saying goes, you got to fall forward. I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, with, between mm -hmm. bad investments, you know, people taking my money. Um, so it's just, you know, stay focused and sacrifice. Your time will come mm -hmm. where you'll be able to take 15 vacations. You'll be able to get, you know... The, the, the cars, you know, exactly. I got a Tesla paid off. I got a Tahoe paid off. I got a slave shop paid off. My yeah. house, I only owe 300000 is worth $1,025,000 in New Jersey. That's what's up. You know, so That's what's up. all the, and, and by the way, I lived in a basement. Wow. I had a two family home uh, when, I, when, I, when I ended up getting my first property. Hmm. I moved into the basement. I wow. said, you know what? I, I lived rent free for literally six years. Hmm. In that same house I sold, I made $259,000 profit. And that's, that's the meaning of sacrifice. And that's the difference between a lot wow. of people. Most people would say, oh, I'm going to take the first floor. You know, I'm going to yeah. take the second floor. Exactly. I'm going to go ahead and rent me a penthouse. Yeah. No, if you stay in that basement until you feel comfortable. Mm. And from that basement, I moved into my million dollar home. That's and people don't even believe me. They're like, I can't believe you lived in that basement. I was like, you know, I was making, I was making six figures and I was living in a little hole in the basement. But I didn't care. I exactly, knew where I was headed yeah. to, you know? So See, sacrifice. Man, you just you just you just said something that really was a profound is 
You know how everybody say, I wasn't born wealthy, I wasn't born rich, uh, I came from nothing. I wanna change that mindset. Everybody is born wealthy. Wealthy, it starts from like here. It's all start with like thinking. If he can do it and I can do it, guys, I came from Africa. I, I grew up sleeping on the fucking mattress floor, <laughs> okay? Came to America with no speaking English at all. You know what I mean? I was thinking, I was, it was beautiful, sunny day like, like Columbia here. <laughs> and I landed in the dead middle of the fucking winter, January. And I, and I made it. And my parents made a combined income together, $45,000 combined. You know what I'm saying? So I'm making what they make in a year and a month. But I also, not to add, not to take away what they say, sacrifice. Also, my last final thought is discipline. You have to know how to manage your money and discipline and, and be low key. Like people see successful people, they don't see what's behind the actual scenes. Mm -hmm. Like there's a clip, which I'm, I'm going to let you guys watch. There was, there was a clip, and it's a very emotional clip. Elon Musk was asked, people laughed at you at Tesla because you just kept failing. People's cars was getting blown up. It wasn't getting charged. And he said, why don't you give up? He said, because I never fucking quit. SpaceX spending billions of dollars. One rocket blew up. Second rocket blew up. The third one failed. <laughs> okay. Still going. And he had the fourth one. Is, I think it was the third or the fourth one is what actually made it. I failed. Like, you can call me Mr. Philly. I failed over... Actually... I have a book. I was counting how many times I failed. It was 195,000 times. Let me give you guys a perfect example. 7-Up. You guys all drink 7-Up. They have 1-Up, 6-Up, 5-Up. It wasn't until the person who did who created 7-Up, he gave up. Somebody else bought the ingredients and turned it into 7-Up. Have you guys ever heard the cleaning solution? Formula 409, mm -hmm. you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. It took them 409 times to get the cleaning solution right. It's a, it's, a, it's a true story, bro. The, you know, after 100 times, some would probably would quit. <laughs> they would have gave up. They fucked that. 200 <laughs> times. They so that's why they call it Formula 409, because it took them 409 times. Have you guys ever heard of uh, WD-40? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It took them 40 times to, to get that shit right. I didn't know they did, the numbers yes, coincide with that. Exactly, that's exactly, bro. That's interesting. I didn't know that. 40 times before they get it right. Wow. Okay? So, and now, that shit, that cleaning products, that W49 has been around for years. Mm -hmm. They may not even be around. All right? So, that tells you they had to be disciplined. Don't worry about your situations right now. Just keep on just keep on going. Once you make your money back from a different company, start a company number two. Start a company number three. But have partners, have help because you can't do that shit alone. All right. Real quick, I want to say something. There's a saying that says mm -hmm. if you're born poor, it's not your fault. Yes. But if you die poor, it, it is, is your fault. That is a powerful statement. Make sure my my the reason why I became successful was because I educate myself. Mm -hmm. I actually listen to audio books in the in the car. Like literally, I every, when I was in the truck, all I would do was listen to audio books. I did that, the same that thing, for brother. me has been a game changer because, mm -hmm. like I said, I dropped out of high school. So you know, for us minorities, it's super important that we educate educate ourselves. Make sure that we speak eloquently. You yes. know, we, we work on our vocabulary because you know every, you know these guys like you you're gonna go meet in a meeting and you're talking about oh yeah you know this and that and you know you keep saying um um exactly. every five seconds and um, so, and like, um and you yo sound dog. crazy <laughs> yeah 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 like oh yeah I'm trying to get it like you you know you have to make sure you you. You, you learn speak your professionally, life. and yeah. I understand it's hard, but it's all about educating yourself. Change your vocabulary. That's yeah. super important, man. And that's what I say. Your foundation has to be has to be you. You have to be completely strong enough. So that's my time, guys. Um, I wanted to keep this short and not too long. Watch this thing over and over again, and I'm gonna drop Jay's IG. Follow him. I mean, he's more. He's He's motivating me. He's motivating me. You know what I'm saying? So we motivate each other. So find out the streams of income that you want to start with. 
start small start with what you can afford to lose because don't invest all your house don't refinance don't take out your savings invest what you can afford to lose start small and watch your income rise so that's my time we keep it effing real show we are live in Medellin. we're actually going to show you guys around um, <laughs> the actual view and you guys are welcome to Colombia anytime hit me up on ig we will definitely host you guys so take care and be blessed.